Hello friends and welcome back. Today I'm going to create for you this super cute layout and I am going to be using the Graphics 45 Dreamland collection and I got this over at Country Craft Creations. I'm going to be designing for them today so I will leave links in the description box below for you to get your supplies there. I'm also going to be using the sketch that I pulled from Pinterest and I've got the information right there at the bottom if you want to check them out. They have a couple of really cute layouts that you can use and I'm also going to use my two favorite little models. These are my two youngest and this paper collection really has a lot of different versatility to it. There are a bunch of colors in here. Some of them really look fall to me so I wanted to see if I could create a nice fall layout. I'm also going to be using this light, this little shadow box and I picked this up at Hobby Lobby. Use my little coupon but this is an odd shape so it's 10 by 13. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of paper piecing to get that to work, and this is what I came up with. So I've got a nice orange sheet that I cut down to 10 by 12, and then I just added an inch and a half on either side of the pattern paper, and then I ran it through my, through my sewing machine all the way around just to give it a little bit more, um, just a little bit more texture. And now... I'm going to kind of speed this up and go through. I'll quickly tell you I took the, there's a, a cut apart sheet in the collection which has a bunch of strips. And so I basically just trimmed down a whole bunch of the ones that I really liked. And now I'm just kind of following the diagram on the side there. So just kind of using all of my little strips here to create that same little scene that you see off to the side. Um, on the sketch. So that's what's cool about sketches. So if you find one that you really like that goes well with your paper collection that you think you can use, then um, yeah, it's a great way to get something going when your brain is saying, how do I make this work? So this is going to be, I thought about sewing that, but I've decided to just take it upstairs and just sew it straight down. So I know you can't really see it here, but I took and sewed straight down just like the um, picture showed. Now I'm going to place on all of the layers of the mat for my photo. So I just got some brown and some orange and then one of the pattern papers um, from the collection with sunflowers and some other like real pretty fall colors to it. And I'm going to stick that one right there on the end. And then I will place in this ruler, by the way, is like a lifesaver for this kind of, for these kinds of projects. So. It's one of those T-square ones. I think I got it at Michael's. They're not very expensive, but they really do work well when you're trying to line things up straight. Now I'm going to add a little bit of texture. I'm also going to start decorating with all of my flowers and my. I used a bunch of dyes for some greenery up there. So I'm going to play some music so that and speed this up so you're not sitting here for as long as it took me to actually make this. And you can just see the process without uh, me chattering your ear off the whole time. And I will catch you back once all of the actual decorating is done. Also, um, side note real quick, the dies that I used to cut out for the fall foliage up there is the Spellbinders this month's large um, die kit of the die of the month. So um, just so you know where those came from in case you're wondering and I will see you back here once I'm done decorating in front of my little panel here.
I'm just going to finish placing all of my little last touches here. And I think this looks fabulous, especially with the added little pearls everywhere. So that's going to do it for my little project here. I'll take a couple pictures of it inside the frames. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. I hope this gives you another idea to use with your Graphics 45 Dreamland collection. Um, and like I said, you get your supplies over at Country Craft Creations. Links are in the bottom. And I will see you again real soon with another project. Have a great day. Bye-bye.